Ariel Helwani in New York City for UFC 244 alongside Kevin Lee, who meets Gregor Gillespie this Saturday at Madison Square Garden. Kevin, I have been looking forward to this interview in particular because I have a lot to ask you about. But first, let's talk about the face-off. That was interesting. You, you, you stayed on the face-off, the stare. You didn't look to the crowd. You stayed on him for a while. Why? Because the man would look me in my eyes. Uh, I think he's been very confident th this training camp. And he's undefeated. You know, he's got good reason to be. But as soon as he was going to look me in my eyes, he knew. You know, he's going to see. Uh, he didn't want to do it on, on up here. But on Saturday night, he's going to have no choice. Now, what did you make of him then looking at you the way he did? Yeah, yeah. It's a little fun. A little fun. I give it to him. Uh, it made me a little more excited for the fight. Because um, that shows that he's game. You know, he, he's ready to fight. And uh, that makes it even better for me. Are you wearing two different socks? I am, yeah. Why? Superman? And what is that? Yeah, Green Lantern. Why? The black suit. For Halloween? No, this is just, you know, I'm channeling some energy in here. You know, I'm trying to, uh, they made me wear all Reebok. So I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll be nice. I'll play along. But I want to make this look good. And uh, I got to channel some energy. And the new hairstyle is really coming together. Yeah, yeah, slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. Give me some time. Give me some time. You know, I just got to grow a beard like you and, uh, you know, I'll be good. How's my hometown doing? My hometown is Montreal. You know that, right? I had no idea. You had no idea. You, you speak That's my hood. Bien sûr. Oh, shit. All right. Damn. How's it treating you? Uh, it's, it's amazing, though. Uh, when people start speaking French, I just zone out and just be in my... So I'm in my own zone the whole time while I'm there. Uh, and just being around a guy like Faraz and, and having him guide me and guide the career... Each week, I feel like I was getting better and better and better, and I feel like that's going to shine through on Saturday. What about George? Have you had a chance to pick his brain? Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, a guy like that, when he says one thing to you, it just clicked automatically. Um, and having somebody that was an idol of mine, uh, it, it's really going to play big dividends in my career. So this is the biggest question I want to ask. Why are you going back down to 155? I thought that we were good at 170. We were healthy. I know the first one didn't go well, but why are you doing this to yourself? Yeah, I mean... I did fight the number three guy in the world, and it was a good fight. But I knew it was inevitable that I was going to go back down. This just felt like this is where I started my career. This is where the biggest fights are. I've always been at lightweight. Um, so the timing and everything just worked out right. I only fought once this year, and I wanted to fight for sure. And welterweight was getting so muddied, and, I mean, they're they doing this BMF and all this now. Uh, so it just it just made sense. It, it, my body, I tried to get bigger uh, throughout the summer. I tried to eat more. I tried to, you know, fill into the to the weight class. And uh, it just didn't want to do it. So it, it made sense to go back down. So how much you weigh right now? Uh, right now, as I'm sitting here, I'm about 174 pounds, uh, which is uh, on par with, with the rest of my weight cuts. Um, I'm 18 left. Yeah, it's nothing. It's nothing. It's, it's, it's light okay. This is going to be light work. Um, it's going to suck. I mean, it's not going to be fun. You know, th this is a part that, that the fans don't see at all. Uh, but these are kind of them battles that I feel like maybe was missing a little bit in the last camp. You know, when you get down to, for me, it's like 160. Once I get below 160, you get into like them dark, dark places. And you're like, I'm going to make this mother pay tomorrow. And uh, I kind of miss that a little bit. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. I think it's terrible for our health. I, I, I don't agree with it. But, uh it is what it is. Are you back to being a full-time lightweight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here. I'm here. I'm, I'm going for the winner of uh, Tony and Khabib. They're going to fight. You know, a lot of people want to see me fight Tony again. Uh, I want to see me fight Khabib. I've been gunning for him for years, and uh, that's the one. Hello, everyone. It's Ariel Hoani. I just came here to thank you for watching our ESPN YouTube channel. It's the best. You know what else is the best? The ESPN app. You can get highlights, analysis, all that stuff and more. And if you want premium content and live streaming sports, there's only one place for all of that. It's ESPN+. Plus.